Hello there. This video is to show you how and when to use copper, 10 mil copper, instead of our standard high heat line um, to get air into the back of the unit. Um, generally, we supply this silicon and it just goes onto the back of the unit right there and when it can come out like that and drop down that will stay that will last for years um, it's rated to uh, 250 um, but it, you know it's been tested at 900 degrees um, and generally with air running through it um, the Bizary tested show it never went above 42 degrees so it's absolutely fine like that um, and does last for years but if you haven't got room to do that, so that, for example, it's either being constrained so that the air can't turn into it, um, but more particularly if it's, if it's so tight that it's got to be touching the side, you can't do it. If it's just constrained, it will dry out if it can't get out of the direct high heat of the stove, but if it touches, then it can melt. And we've had a customer who's had that fitted like this right up against, um, and it, it's cut the line and melted it. Um, um, so that's our fault because we didn't put it in the installation manual so we'll go over and change it but um, just to make clear when you will use 10 mil copper this stuff instead of the high heat so it's if you're coming in contact with it or can't get clear of the stove you need to use it if you're coming straight up above the stove so it can't get out of the direct heat of the stove so people put it into the put put their pump into the loft, run the line up um, into a false flue, and it'll be close to the single skin, so it'll be kept hot there. But particularly, it's in the, it's directly in the radiant rising heat of the stove, so it can't cool down, um, and then it doesn't melt it, but it will dry out. Um, so you use copper for that, um, and you know, actually, people also use it for aesthetics. If you've got an open, you know, if you've got a stove in an open plan situation then you, know, you want to run it really close. Um, in some stoves you can tuck it into the casing, but there, that's not suitable, use the copper for that. And also, if um, you're going to make it part of a in uh, permanent installation and you'll never be able to get access to the pipe again, then use 10 mil, and if it's going into concrete and stuff, lag the 10 mil, um, as, as you do with copper pipe normally when you put it into concrete. Um, so that's when you'd use it. Um, and how you'd use it is really simple, it's easier to do it. Take this off, get a good grip with stuff. So you, you just have a standard, standard copper fitting. Um, you get your pipe, it comes coiled. It's nice and malleable. It's quite difficult to get it straight, but it's, um, it's not impossible. But you just work it until you get that. Um, you take the brass coupling, take it off completely normal as you do with the copper, that goes on first, it's 10 mil, exactly the same size, so it fits like that, then you put that one on, and then you, sorry, it's straight, put this on, and you have to grip and just, and just tighten it like that. So push it, you can, you can afford to push that on as tight as you can. You're going to find it's easier to do it before you fit it um, and you need to tighten it but don't forget it's not water, it's, not, it's just air flowing through with very little pressure um, so the fact that the brass will expand under the heat and contract won't make any difference to the flow that you get. Um, so, so that's it and actually what you can also do is if you have absolutely no space there it does mean that you can run your copper sideways across the top, paint it black, just get the stove paint from Wix or anywhere else and um, paint it black so you can't see it, or paint it to, to fit the background and um, run it round. When you're bending it, you're, you're going to be going straight, you're going to be going round corners, you know, just be careful that you are not pinching and making it too tight. But again, it's not under pressure. So if you get slight pinches, it doesn't matter at all. It's just a very low pressure airflow to get them in there. Um, but that's when you use it. Um, we will update the installation manual um, so that we can't get this. We're used to running it. I'm used to talking to customers. And, um, um, but you know, now they're going out and installers are 
and you're fitting them without having contact with us, then um, yeah, we need to make this much more formal, um, you know, how we do that. And if you want to buy them with copper, we'll supply it with the copper um, as, as the first length with a little bit of the high heat just to do the transition. Um, so let us know if you want that. But I'm not going to list it at the moment because it confuses everybody. Most of the time, the black stuff is absolutely fine and it's much easier to use. Um, but when you haven't got the space, copper's your man. Thanks so much.